welcome down to the first video of 2022. I'm over on Rudyard Lake with, where is he? The boy Jack. A bit of lure fishing. We've got a boat booked out today as well, but we yet to get on it. So we're just fishing from the pier for the moment. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. The sun is just rising. Hopefully, we're going to bag a few pike and some perch as well. I think we're mainly going to go for the perch. A few pike turn up, then all the better. For now, when you get fishing, get on the boat, try and get the first fish on the bank. Yeah, go on. Yeah. Hey, the bitch. There's blood to Johnny boy. There's blood. You asked for it now, mate. Epic release. It's there, mate. Oh, that's a beautiful little shot there, that is a view shot. That's a lovely shot. I am, you know, photogenic. You know what that means, Jack? One nil, mate. Not one nil. Not one. one nil. Not Jackie boy is in. Oh, oh that's awkward. Considering that tiny thing in there, that's my second one. And look at that mess it's left me with, mate. That is awkward, mate, isn't it? Oh, oh well. Dear. Oh well. Get back out. Beat John. Come on, pop up it. That's a perch, it's a freaking monster, mate. It's a pike. Yay, you gonna be. Pikey! Please call me, mate. I got perch in one net and a pike Thank in the you. other. Nice. Okay. <laughs> mm. Well, we've been out in the boat for about, what, 20 minutes, Jack, something like that? Yeah, I reckon so. We've had a couple of small perch, uh, Jack lost a pike at the boat, unfortunately. And then, this beauty arrived. Check that out. What are you giving me for that, Jack? I'll give you two, my sweet. You give me two for that, we'll measure it in a second. But yeah, an absolutely stunning Stunning perch. It's my first Rudyard perch as well, actually. Only fished here once before from the bank with Sam. It was freezing, so we went home. So, yeah, first Rudyard perch. Jack's given me £2 for it. That was on um, a. What was it on? Oh, Fox UV Creature. Um, smaller one on a, on a Chab rig. Yeah, well happy with that. Right. Get some picks and we'll get it back and carry on, eh? So, just put back in after catching that decent perch. A couple of casts later. And if he wants to play ball, he doesn't want to play ball. A <laughs> couple of casts later. Nice little jack. Same bait. So I show you in a little bit. But yeah, just shows the colours working for certain, whether it's the pattern as well or not, but the colours work, working like a motor oil UV so deep water UV's got its edge obviously motor oil's a great colour in low light as well so we'll slip this one back hopefully get some more perch but yeah happy with that really happy what are you going with good luck with that <laughs> it's like a piece of snot 
There we go. Whee! Whoop! Come here. Imagine it being up to four pounds or something like that. No room. Okay. Watching what being a four pounder. The fish you haven't caught yet. Yeah, that one. <laughs> How's it going, mate? Yeah, it's fine, mate. If you got Jack, stripey, mate. It's massive that is, mate. Yeah, follow up to the camera, like really, really close. Oh, mate, that's huge. Yeah, mate. Oh, well Four done. Four pounder, mate, easy. Yeah, easy, that's well bigger than mine. Yeah, mate. Weren't you complaining that I was catching loads of little wasps before? No, what? No, no, no. No. Do you mind? Epic release shot, or what? Epic release shot. Look at that. Is that angry? He's killed himself up. Um, so now I'm doing what you're doing, John. You're going to release it now? Yeah, mate. Oh, you're not going to get it on. Look, you can't put that fish on the story. Yeah. You cannot. Do I tell you what to do? No. Do you mind? <laughs> okay. Privacy. Nightmare. John's uh, popular thing. What have you got in there, Jack? Got Dark Lord. Oh. You just can't put the colour on that's working, can you? No. <laughs> Another one. Baba. Oh, Baba fell off. I know you're having some success, but... Having some success? I'm having all the success. Some success. All the success. So, I don't really count catching tiddlers as success. Oh, that's what someone who's failing would say. Stop rocking the boat. So, second decent one for me, probably about a pound and a half, something like that. Little old gnarly one. Really nice fish though. Seems to be coming off a damn wall where it shelves off to the deeper water, seems to be where the perch seems to be holding up. So we'll keep on investigating it and see if we can get some more of these. That would be lovely. Let him go. That was weird. <laughs> Zoom. Well, that was very strange how it didn't even sink. <laughs> oh, it's very shallow there. to get this. Oh, mega thanks, mate. Hey, bitchy. Number two for Jack. How's it feel, mate? Feels good, mate. Feels good to catch a fish. Yeah? Yeah, feels good. Oh, mate, look at that, it's a monster. Oh, 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 life. Oh, dear. Oh, there you go. Rigging. Jack's all Jack's on the fish. Hey, up, mate. You flew that out of the water, then, mate. 
catapult it. GoPros don't have zoom. That's huge. Oop. He's gone. He's gone. Well, make a day in it, mate. Beautiful, mate. Look at that. It's gold, is it? Is it slow gin time? Almost, mate. <laughs> Almost open. Hope for that big one. Okay. I've already caught two, though. They're not the fastest big ones, mate. Oh, okay. All right. What's a big one? Two and a half plus. Oh. We should have weighed that too then, shouldn't we, really? No. Don't, don't get ahead of yourself, mate. <laughs> Alright, mate, whatever. because you're all in, mate. Whatever, mate. A little bit better. Oh, I let go. Oh, it was a little bit better. Here he is, look. A little fat one. Well oh, done, mate. A little rattly squirrely, eh? Edges, mate. Hang on. One is here. Nice. Fair play, mate. Those guys are still in the pier now. No. <laughs> oh, love it. Beep. So I've changed over for a bit. I was getting loads of tiny blocks, so I've got like a four inch drop on a drop shot. With a little UV perch spiky on, and you can feel them all battling over the bait as it goes down. Uh. Great fun. Although Jack has made a great point, there's loads and loads of tiny perch, where's all the big perch? Apparently, my two pounder wasn't good enough for him. Oh, those boats have just crashed into each other. Oh lord. Think of that, did you? Got a bit of a swell on. He said. <laughs> well done, Jack. That's a bit better. He's definitely a bit better. Yeah, it's massive. Look at it. Yeah, that one. About the size of the ones you've been catching out, Jack. Jack. Yeah. Yeah. Ex Excuse mate. the noise. Kasplash. Oh, he's got me in a right wrangle. We go again. Big net, it's a pike that is, mate. <laughs> Put your freaking sandwich down. It's a fat little one, isn't it? A little pike for Johnny Brook. Six pound, five pound? Six pound? Yeah. Nice. Well, pike number two for me. Another nice little jack on the motor oil UV creature bait again. I've got pike rods with me. They don't seem to be working. You want these little baits. Jack's had a dead bait out all morning so far. Nothing. But the drop shot and that little um, chab rigged uv creature better do they do so yeah a little jack pike really healthy fish great condition put up a heck of a scrap on that little bfs setup yeah 
might get a little picture of this one because it's quite a good, good clean fish and then we'll uh, slip him back. Times. Slipping back. Oh, mother comes along for a play. You swam into the boat there, mate. Jack's finally joined you with something a bit nicer. Nice, mate. Cheers, mate. Well done. What was that on? A white squirm. Nice. There you go. Very nice. Well done, mate. Cheers, love. We put it back now, cold. Okay. As you can see, I'm pretty wrapped up now because it's gone Baltic. It's freezing, freezing cold. The wind's picked up. We're having real trouble with the with the anchor actually holding bottom at the minute. Uh, so I'm just taking a moment to talk you through what's been happening. So I've had loads of fish so far. I've probably had two dozen little wasps. Uh, Jack's had a couple of decent perch, he's just this second had another one now, which I'll overlay the footage for you. Lovely, another perch for Jack, probably about the same size as your first one. Yeah. Pound and a half, pound, yeah, so. pound and a quarter, somewhere around there. Uh, lovely fish. Here's have all come on little Ned rigs so far. Is that right? Yeah, the big ones have, yeah. Yeah, they've all come on Ned rigs. So he's doing really well. I've had a couple of pike, uh, that two, a pound and a half perch as well. So all in all, so far, very good. So I thought I'd just show you briefly what I'm doing. Get asked that quite a lot, so I thought I'd run through it. So the first set of I'm using, I haven't caught anything on yet, is the Fox Rage Prism Zandercast Rod. That's set up with one of the skirted jigs from Striking and one of the creature baits as well. Can't remember the name of that one though. That's on a wide trace because it is quite a big bait. And... Um, yeah, there are pike about, so that's my wire trace. Um, that hasn't done anything yet, but I'm holding out for a bigger fish with that one. One I've used the most probably is this one here, the little BFS setup with a little mini loose custom light casting reel. And this is actually a Corum Snapper BFS So Solid casting rod. It's a mega little rod. Currently, Fox don't produce a little BFS casting rod. But when they do, I'd imagine it'll be something very, very similar to this. Um, that's set up with braid obviously and then like you've probably seen the footage already little five gram chev rig weedless hook to a floating uv creature bait and that is the motor oil one in the smaller size that you can get and that's done most of my bites to be fair done really really well it's also my first time using the new striking fluorocarbon and braid as well i've just put those on the past few days um, and I've actually had a couple of pike on this particular one and the fluorocarbon is still absolutely perfect. The eight pound fluorocarbon on this one, slightly thicker than usual, but I don't mind that personally. So yeah, that's done most of the bites for me. I'm really happy with that one. And then I use this one to try and find a few fish and then end up having loads and loads of fun just catching little wasps. This is one of the uh, Street Fighter finesse rods one to eight gram the little short one with a little prism 1000 reel on eight pound braid on that one down to a little drop shot rig this is actually one of the fox ready-made drop shot rigs um five gram drop shot weight with a little mini six centimeter spiky in the uv perch and that's caught me loads and loads of wasps so far it's helped me find a few shoals and things like that as well which is really good for doing that type of thing with, with a drop shot especially in really deep water so yeah they'd be my three tactics um as you said before all of jack's decent fish have all come on um ned rigs um the pike bite you had earlier was on white squirly. a white squirrely uh and yeah that's pretty much how it's been going so the wind has actually just calmed right down so i'm going to get the rods back out try and catch a few more but a little update for you just to see how we're doing Oh, you got this one, Jack. You let me get this one. Yeah, in your own time, mate. You got it, mate. Ah. Nice. He's <laughs> winning now. Still me. You've had four <laughs> fish. <laughs> Fourth fish. Well, that's your fifth. It's not. 
Oh, that was elegant. Well done, mate. Well, the time has come. The afternoon was pretty dead, to be honest. Um, Jack had one or two more perch, and that was it. Not a sniff of anything else. We tried everything for pike and perch. Nothing happened. We thought waiting till last light now would work, and they'd start topping again. It's like it completely died, didn't it, mate? It did, mate. Completely dead. Completely died off. So nothing else really happened at all. So, hang on a second, excuse me. So it's time to end this little video. Thanks if you've watched it all, really appreciate it. Just a nice, simple little uh, fishing video, to be honest, nothing special about it, but I hope you enjoyed the view. Uh, we'll be back down here again soon, no doubt whatsoever. Um, then on to a few more projects after that. So thanks again, and I'll see you soon.